Jiggy baby. No matter the currency. Hey Mzansi and welcome to Mzansi Scenes. So executive producers of The Queen and husband and wife Connie and Shauna Ferguson have shown multiple of times that they are not afraid to fire people from their TV show. The Fergusons have defended themselves from people's attack saying that that's the way the industry is and that characters come and go. In an Instagram live with Tim Bandaba who plays Brutus in The Queen, Khan responded to fans saying, Guys, this is a soapy. It's a telenovela, okay? Characters come and go. That's how soapies operate. It's for the stories, sometimes to introduce another story but characters come and go. This is not something that is exclusive to The Queen or exclusive to Rockville or exclusive to Isibaya. It happens everywhere all the time. Shauna added to Connie's statement saying, I think that's what people don't know. The reality of what we do is, you are going to see new people in and out. It's the nature of storytelling. In this video, we look at five actors who were fired by the Fergusons from the Queen. At number one, we have Dine Wolanga. Presenter and actor Dine Wolanga, who had been with the show since its first episode in 2016, was fired from the Queen after she asked for some time off to shoot another movie. Instead of the Ferguson since granting or denying her request, she received an email from them telling her not to return to work after the lockdown. Dine who played the role of Gia Koza, later announced that she had been fired from the soapy, revealing this in an Instagram post after one of the fans asked her about leaving the Queen. In the post, she said, In the post, Dine who said, Meaning, I'm not coming back, I was fired. Replying to another user, she said, My character was removed from the show. The character will be dying soon soon. At number two, we have Rami Chuene. Rami, who has been in the acting industry for a long time, was also killed off from the hit TV show after a relationship with the Ferguson's weakened when she allegedly sided with fellow actress Fatih Swandaba. This is after the seasoned actress wrote an open letter to the sports, arts and culture minister Natim Tetwa last year, highlighting her experiences working for the Ferguson's. The letter disapproved of the Fergusons. Rami played the role of Gracious Tigo Mabuza, a fiery, religious and gun-totting woman who was very popular with the fans. Announcing her exit from the show, Rami wrote, Yes, to constant on hashtag the Queen Zanzi has come to an end. Unfortunately, I won't be getting into details as advised by my legal team. I still have to finish shooting and I'm hoping to execute as excellently, exceptionally and professionally as I always have. Hashtag to Gom Nation forever. She added, thank you for all the well wishes and blessings. It's been a ride. We keep pushing and working before. Because hashtag show must go on no matter what. At number three, we have Mlamli Mangakala. Actor Mlamli, who played the role of Captain Tembi Sohadebe on The Queen, also left the show after he made allegations of lies and deception. Mlamli said that he was being selfishly taken advantage of by the Fergusons, whom he alleged basically made him pay for being on TV. According to Mlamli, he had to pay for his own travel and accommodation costs when traveling from Cape Town to Johannesburg for shooting. He added that he never got the salary that he was promised instead he got an increase of 100 rands when he negotiated his contract at number four we have silo mike Kangube. this long-time actor who used to play the role of horsey also left the queen under a cloud however he did not give any details to what had transpired to make him leave the show and instead said that the fergusons were the only ones who could reveal the fuzzy details behind his exit from the show silo stated the following the fergusons can only be the ones who will reveal the sketch details surrounding my exit on the queen however i can confirm that there was something that went wrong between us but they are best suited in letting the public know as to what happened the actor also showed his support and sympathy for rami chuene when she was fired from the show he said i'm sad to hear what's happening to you rami and the others courage sister at number five we have mara low TV actress Mara, who played the role of Sis Boy on the show, was also fired by the couple after refusing to shoot a scene which was too traumatic for her. She said, I refused because the storyline resembled an incident that is in my book. I told them that I was not going to reenact my life in a soapy. I refused because it is the kind of incident that I would not want to go through again, let alone talking about it. I told them that they got the story from my book and there is a copyright issue involved. They asked another actress to act in the episode, which still hurt me. 
Mara also disclosed that the Fergusons offered her a poor call contract on the show, which she found insulting and disrespectful concerning her decades of experience in the industry. Shauna Ferguson later revealed that Mara is not fired from the show, but was in and out of contract. A viewer's Mara hit back, sharing a letter which proved that she had been fired by Ferguson Films. Mara said, Telling a lie doesn't suit you, Mr. Producer. Here's proof of the letter you sent me in September 2017. All right, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below and hit the notification bell.